Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this series from Walking the Woods by Layla Dooley. Um, today we are on our third video and this is actually the last one that doesn't have a bit of black background which is interesting. Um, this one is called a stinking iris, I love the name, <laughs> but it's a really beautiful colour iris and I have picked the Arteza Expert pencils for this because um, they have the right sort of um, colours um, for the iris which is a really beautiful um, deep pink and purple colour. I'm just getting my pencils ready. I should have done it beforehand but there we go. Anyway, I'm nearly there. I hope everyone's doing well today. Now, we need, um, I think I'm going to start with the pink. I'm going to use the um, fuchsia. And I'm going to pick out all the all the iris bits and just do them with the fuchsia first. It's uh, as it as is often just going to sharpen the case with Layla's pictures. It's a little bit tricky to quite make out what's going on. So I'm just going to pick out all the the um, petals. Sorry to start with. I am just going to sneeze. Oh. Right, <laughs> back to it. I don't like, I'm such a loud sneezer that I uh, try not to sneeze on camera. Oh, it scare the whole world. <laughs> all right, so we're just finding all these petal bits, working out what's what and where, and then we can move on to the fun bit. Now looking at the picture, these some of these bits on the actual plant are white, not pink. Um, and I just realised I can't put a white pen on here because this pencil bleeds into white. Hmm. I think that is leaf, I think this is, but never mind. It'll be near enough. Yeah, I've got a little label on this pencil to tell me that it bleeds into white pen. I tend to do that. Um, I'll just put a bit of my washi tape on the end to remind me. So I don't, because it um, the white pen goes neon, which I know. I'm not a fan of oh, my son sneezing. Excuse me, he's quite sneezy today. I just had some water. Um, yeah. I think he's. He said he's feeling a lot better actually. Yesterday he was feeling a bit poorly. Um, caught, caught his brother's cold, but he he took some paracetamol and went out for the evening with his friends. I <laughs> didn't worry about it, and he came back and he's feeling fine. Now we need a deep purple colour. Um, why did, which one was I going to go for? This this is the one. The um, the amethyst purple four one six. Mine's getting a little short. Because I really like it, and we're going to put it. Firstly, along the edges here, where these um, veiny bits are, and just fade it off towards the edge. Try to blend it into that pink. Um, quite sure. Uh, looks a bit random here. Just put it in the middle. These. Then here again, either side of the sort of veiny bit. It starts to give us a little bit of shape to our petal, really. Which I think is quite nice. So where there's a vein, I'm leaving that pink. But where there isn't one, I'm just popping a line in. Right down the middle, I think it's okay. And 
and uh, just working through all of them. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. This video again was um, sponsored by Barb, so thank you Barb for that. Um, this is the fuchsia again. I'm going to go over the edge bits, not the centre, with this, just darken it up a bit. This really is quite a vibrant flower. Um, she um, sponsored this whole page. Um, if you want to sponsor a page, you can do so through um, my Kofi. Um, in the commission section is all the instructions, but if you're confused, um, message me. Um, it's fine. Um, I'll happily try to answer all your questions. <laughs> don't always know how things work properly. Like People who often have questions about the YouTube membership, I don't really know all of the stuff. But anyway, I try. Because obviously it's sort of managed by YouTube, not by me. So uh, I don't always know. But I try to help. And I can use the help and look things up and things like that. So I do have a background in research, so I can look things up quite easily. But um, this is a delightful book. Um, right. Now we have green for our all the all the leaves. Um, what sort of shades have we got? I'm just going to look on my swatch chart. You can grab this swatch chart off my Kofi, by the way. I'm going to use the forest green. If I've got an, any of it left. What number is it? Six one four. I had a feeling it would be this one. I'm not going to use that one. It's too small. What's the fern green like? Uh, emerald. Mm. Emerald 613, yeah. Now I'm going to use the fern green because it's a bit longer. I've got quite a few short pencils. Um, let's make a start with this and see how it, how it works out for us. That's quite good. I wanted something fairly vibrant. I think this one is quite good. Yeah, I'm liking it. goes quite nicely with the iris. I think it'll work. Yeah, I do have a swatch chart. As I say, my Kofi for the Artesas. I only have the 72 set. I say only. I have a lovely 72 set. And so my swatch chart is just for the 72 because I don't have the others to be able to um, put put a chart together and actually as far as I can tell the 120 set is out of production out of stock at the moment um, someone asked me or mentioned it or something and I contacted Arteza and they said they are changing manufacturers so at the moment they don't um... I'm trying to work out whether this bit is I think it is this bit is one day so they are at the moment just um, um, waiting, but that was a while ago, months, maybe a few months ago. So they might be back in stock now, I'm not sure, but um, they haven't discontinued it, which I think is the most important thing for people. And I think they've stopped doing their open stock as well on a lot of things. So they used to do open stock, but you had to buy three pencils of a particular colour. I bought a few off, um, off Amazon. I haven't looked lately. Um, I haven't really been buying a lot of art materials lately. I've been actually very lucky in having been given some. So, uh, or, you know, rather a lot. So I haven't needed to be buying, which is lovely. I feel very um, lucky. Um, I was given Black Widow, Monarch, and um, Monarch, and what's the name? The Dragon. So that was really nice. And they are very pretty, I have to say. There's a lot of pinks in the um, in one of them. Can't think which. More sort of light colours, pastel-y shades. 
which um, a lot of us enjoy. Ooh, I don't know if you've seen that Castle's got a new pencil product coming out. They put a teaser out in their email for their members, um, members of the Castle Club. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but um, it was very difficult to see what it was. Me and my friend Michelle were trying to guess and uh, we were wondering whether they were aqueous pastel pencils. That was our guess. Because from the, the tin they showed, it was a 72 pencil tin and the picture on it looked really like the one on the pastel tinned tin but it had, um, it looked like it said O-U-S on the tin as if it might have said aqueous couldn't think of any other word the thing is they don't use that word that that word to describe their watercolor their normal watercolor age just call it watercolor so it would be a little bit odd if they used a different word so we've been guessing it's been fun but by now they may have come out with their set and actually castle did tell me they might they would send me their they told me there was a new set coming out in the summer and they'd send it to me. I just realised when colouring up here, it actually goes nowhere. That isn't actually a leaf. This is the leaf, so I've messed that up, so I'm really sorry. Um, oh, I'm just going to rub my eye. Not crying, it's not that bad. <laughs> I shall sort it out. Let's do the bit that I know is correct and then I'll have a look at that. is the thing I find trickiest about Layla's work is uh, trying to figure out quite what's what. So this, let's continue down here. Now, so I've coloured up here and here. Um, I'm going to try and erase it, but I, to be honest, I don't think it will. Um, I might just leave it. I think I'll just leave it like that. So it's slightly erased and it just sort of fades in. I think it's fine. I'm just going to tidy up this bit. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting a few more layers in the areas where they overlap. So they look a little and neat and just going over any bits that have gotten that haven't got enough pencil on, and then um, now this is quite plain. I haven't only done I've only done the one colour on the leaves, and I'm contemplating whether to add another one. But I'm just going to try and do it like this with this one colour first, and see how it looks. And then I'll decide, I think I'll make that one in there a bit darker. Hmm, I'm quite liking that, I have to say, without any more fiddling really. Um, I I think I'm just going to grab something to do in a few, do a few shadows. I think the jade green might help us. It's a really dark um, green. What I want to try and do is help the irises themselves to stand out a little bit more. So where they overlap the leaves, I want to draw in a bit of shadow. Maybe this is a bit fussy. Maybe it's not going to show up very much. If they overlap there as well. There we go. One of my sons is doing some driving te test practice again today. He's doing his um, theory test. He actually thought you have to have past your theory test before you can have a lessons but I was like no you you can have lessons first but you have to um 
um, you have to have um, um, passed your theory test before you can book a driving test. Although my, um, yeah, actually, yes, that happened to me because my instructor, um, I'd done my theory test before I had any less any practical lessons. The theory test was the easy bit for me. I uh, I find driving really scary. Still do, don't do it anymore. I just can do without that sort of stress. I can manage without it, you know. We only had one car anyway, and husband used it for work, so it seemed a bit pointless um, worrying about it. I'm just going to put a bit in there. There we go. I think I'm going to make that do. It's quite simple, but um, the um, flowers look rather pretty, I think. So there we go. There is today's. Um, thank you for watching. I um, hope you have a really super day and pop back tomorrow for the common dog violet. Ooh, we shall see what we shall see. But thank you for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>